of an assassin's bullet. Team A was my father, and he was uh, one of three men that did participate in the shooting of John F. Kennedy. But this day, Ricky White of Midland comes to Dealey Plaza to explain how it was his late father, Roscoe White, a Dallas officer, who fired the fatal shots. My father, being a Dallas police officer, had to cover right here on the knoll because he had the credentials and everything to be able to, to uh, identify himself. Ricky says his father's diary, taken by the FBI, says that Roscoe White really worked for the CIA, that his code name was Mandarin. White says the diary details how two other agents, Lebanon and Saul, fired the first shots from the book depository and records buildings above. Then his father allegedly fired from the grassy knoll. The fact is, Roscoe White was a professional assassin. Some Kennedy researchers say White, not Oswald, may have killed the president and Officer J.D. Tippett investigating the case. They say information found in White's military footlocker referred to White's involvement with a government assassin team called Rifle, his friendship with Lee Harvey Oswald, and his wife's job as a dancer at Jack Ruby's club. Yes, it bothers me, but my father did what he was told to because he was told to do it. Ricky White says he is now negotiating with the publisher to print his father's story. Some researchers say there is more reason than ever to reopen the Kennedy case. Shelley Koffler, Texas News 5.